Crystal, we saw the team right there watching film. You think about all the obligations that you have from film to practice, your classes, free mm -hmm. time. How do you do all of this? How do you make it all work with your time? Well, I think it's just a part of me being a part of a collegiate program for so long. I mean, it was a struggle coming in as, as a freshman, you know, because it's hard to manage your time and not having, you know, mom to tell you to do yeah. your homework. But I mean, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much good at managing my time and and good with. Um, Balancing, you know, academics and basketball as well. And as a, as a point guard, you have to study film as well as study books. And, you know, so I'm pretty good at that right now. And when it comes to studying, when you're not studying hoops, why is the education so important to you when you consider what you want to do after basketball? Well, I, I think it's because of the foundation that I had growing up. I mean, my mom's a, in the education uh, department, so um, she always instilled in us that education comes first. I mean, it was plenty of times where she told me if I didn't finish my homework, I couldn't even go outside and play basketball with my brothers. <laughs> so, I mean, I've always taken education serious like that, so it just, it's just always been in me. It's natural. So what do you want to do when uh, your hoops career is over? After, after I'm done playing basketball, I actually want to be a heart surgeon. That is awesome. <laughs> How did that come about, that idea? Well, I mean, I've, I've wanted to be a heart surgeon for a long time. Well, actually, my first career choice was to be on a SWAT team. And then <laughs> <laughs> after I found out that, you know, that's, that's pretty violent, you know, <laughs> anything could happen. What you so, think it was supposed to be? I mean, I, I, I was growing up, I used to collect, like, the police cards and go to different police officers and ask them for their cards and stuff. So I, I was really interested in, in doing that. And as I grew older and realized, you know, when the movie SWAT came out, I was <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know if this is the right path. That's but, awesome. But I've, I've always <laughs> liked um, science and math, and it's always been challenging to me, I think. And I think that's really what made me want to pursue that career. How much work is it going to take to get there? I mean, it's tough. It's, it's hard for, I mean, normal students, you know. I have to balance basketball as well as my studies to do that. So it's, it's going to be hard and it's going to be challenging, but at the end it'll feel good. Why heart surgeon, though? Why being a doctor and a surgeon? Why is that in particular intriguing to you? Because some will say, yeah, there's a nice paycheck that comes along with that. Some will say, yeah, it's helping people. But for you individually, why is that? I, I think it was just something that I was interested in. I mean, I remember growing, growing up and we used to go to the science place and my, my school took us to different like educational places and stuff like that. And I don't know, I've always been interested in that. This is really something I've legit wanted to do since I was about nine or 10. And I've been prepared through high school. I was in advanced science cluster at my high school. So I've always followed that path. And so why, why stop now, you know? Well, you're heading to the, the last stage of your career here at the University of Texas. When you look at what you've done as a player, what else is there out there for you in the senior season? Um, right now, I, I think that just the having fun aspect of I mean, I've been playing basketball for 18 years now, and wow. I mean, I've had a lot of injuries, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but I, my last year, I just want to have fun. Basically, I want to have fun. I want to leave here with a degree and a ring. So that's one of my major goals right now. What makes you believe that this team is capable of doing that? I mean, as, as everyone saw at the beginning, I mean, we started out with a bang. I mean, this, this team has crazy potential. Any given night, anybody can go off. And I think we're hitting on all cylinders, every position. And right now, I mean, we're going through a rough, rough time right now. We have, we've had injuries. We have debts in families. So I think us... Being able to persevere through that will make it even more sweet when we, when we do win. Now, Coach Aston wanted me to ask you one thing in particular before you go. Okay. Do you have an idea what she wanted me to ask you? I don't know. I, I think it has something to do with coaching, but I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Actually, it has to deal with your height. And oh. Coach Aston's height. She wants to know who is taller. Well... I definitely think I'm taller than Coach Aston, but, you know, since she wears heels all the time, you can't really tell. So oh. I know for a fact I'm taller than Brooke McCarty, though. We'll just get that straight. <laughs> so you got somebody. Is that yeah, your only victory? I, got some, I, was, I was definitely excited when Brooke came to the team. Well, you know what? You got the best hair on the team. How about <laughs> well, that? You. I know you were checking that out. It looks good. And we'll tell Coach Aston that you're taller. <laughs> well, at least pretend that's the case, whether it is or not. Crystal, thank you so thank much you for so joining much for us. Thank you so much for having me on.